Hello guys, so if you're like me who doesn't really have a lot of storage space on your MacBook or iMac or Mac mini and you really have a lot of videos to edit and you are editing them on 4K resolution or probably 8K or 5K resolution so you need a lot of storage space what you can do is to store all your content rendering files and everything related to Final Cut Pro and put them onto your external storage device and I'm gonna show you how you can actually do that so first let us click on your project folder your library folder you can hide everything to make it clearer and then go right to the inspector and you can see there's a storage location yep you can click on modify settings and then see there's media motion to content cache and backups so for me I store all my proxy media and everything related to media here at the external device at work so click choose and then voila you can see the locations over here and then yep this is the external storage device and then I just gonna click this and select choose and that's all you need to do and it's done so for me I've already selected a specific folder under the external storage device and yep I've chosen it I suggest you do not change the location for your motion content because you might mess up or install plugins like titles, transitions, and generators and effects. So I'm just gonna keep it at the motion templates folder. And then for cache, yeah, obviously I'm gonna change to somewhere else, which is under work the, the storage folder as well. So I've already create a new folder and named it Final Cut Pro 10 and yep this is my cache folder and then for my backups I'm gonna choose you can choose to not save in the backup but I'd rather not to have this option because <laughs> you know sometimes when Final Cut Pro crashes and you don't really have a backup it's a nightmare so finally just go to choose and then since yep I've already chosen the external storage device and create a new folder over here and this is my backup folder and yep that's all you need to do and it's fairly simple sometimes when you are transferring folders you might want to consolidate all your things and then make them into a new location so you have to choose it to be at here yeah, you have to choose at the external storage device and I've already done so and please remember to include everything in terms of external storage device I recommend to use external SSD you can buy a actual SSD the NVMe one and put it into a storage casing or just choose an external SSD and that will do and that's all for today's video hope you guys enjoy it and um, please subscribe bye bye